Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you an easy way to paint a sea turtle in watercolor. So let's get started. If this is your first visit to my channel, my name is Aura and I share drawing and painting tutorials and other art tips for beginner and intermediate artists. So if you want to learn more about making art, especially watercolors, then I recommend you subscribe to my channel. Before painting the sea turtle, I need to sketch it out. So I am following my reference photo for the shape, but I will choose a more blue-green color theme instead of the brown from the photo. I spend a lot of time on the details because that will make the painting process easier later with less guesswork. So I'm drawing in all those little circles and shell sections ahead of time. I'm using Arches cold pressed 300 pound paper and the paints are Winsor Newton and Daniel Smith. I will list all the supplies I used with links to purchase them in the video description. To begin the painting, I pre-wet the entire turtle, then added Windsor lemon and a little Naples yellow. Wetting the paper ensures the paint will go only where I want it and the edges will be soft. I drop on some green gold on the head, belly, and flippers while the paper is wet. By the way, I sped up the process, but you can change the playback speed in YouTube settings if you need it slowed down or sped up more. The paper has dried and I'm going to begin the fun part of painting each shell section one at a time. I will pre-wet each one, then drop in burnt sienna, Windsor blue, and green gold and just let it mix and do its thing. I will help nudge the paint around a bit with the tip of my brush and I try to make the edges more concentrated with color than the inside so there's more contrast between the sections. I'll also use the tip of my brush here and there to soak up some of the excess water. I accidentally painted outside the lines here and there, but I will fix that later with a white gel pen. Here I'm dropping in some Windsor Blue. Pre-wetting the area means that the paint will only go where I put the water. I drop in some green gold here and a little burnt sienna on that other edge. I just repeat this along the other sections and change up the composition a bit so they all have the same colors but none of them looks the same. For these smaller sections on the bottom, I pre-wet each of them at the same time since they're small and I knew I could get to them before the water dried. And I just repeated the same process. And I'll use the tip of my brush that's clean and fairly dry to soak up some of that extra water and pigment. For the turtle's head and flippers, 
I will wet the areas again and I will add a deeper wash of green using green gold and Windsor blue. Again, pre-wetting these areas makes it a nice soft blend with no hard edges. Once this has dried, I mix a deep green using Perylene and the green gold and Windsor blue mixture from before, and I paint this along the head scales and flippers on dry paper. I alter the color a little bit on the flippers, adding some of that burnt sienna and some lighter greens and blues just to give it variety, interest, and to tie it in with those shell colors a little bit more. I use the same dark green to paint the skin folds and the creases around the eye, and I paint the eye using a dark mix of Windsor Blue, Burnt Sienna, and Perylene Green. I use that same dark black color to outline the top of the mouth or beak, <laughs> whatever you call that on a turtle, I'm not sure. Then I rinse and blot my brush and sweep across that wet line to soften the edge. I lost some of my light areas around the eye, so I'm using my gel pen to lighten it up and emphasize the highlight. Then I decided to deepen the shadow below the shell and help to bring the shell forward a bit and make the belly recede. So I used that same dark green. Again, I rinsed and blotted my brush to soften the edge. After a little bit of fine tuning, I go in between the shell sections with my white gel pen to help clean up those lines where I accidentally got paint outside of the shell sections. The last step is optional and I honestly think it looked better before adding the water in the background, but to make this water I used Windsor Blue and I added it to dry paper but I made sure to keep the strokes wet so they wouldn't dry to a hard edge. So I just go back and forth between the sections, wetting my brush and pulling it away from the turtle. I even used some pure water just to drop it onto the wet paint to create the uh, texture, the intentional blooms, just to give it an abstract look around the turtle. You can be the judge and let me know in the comments if you liked it better with or without the water, but I think if I were to redo it, I would maybe just add a subtle background, probably a little lighter in color and not all over the painting like I did here. 
In any case, if you decide to try painting this sea turtle in this style, or if you want to have a go at any of the tutorials on my channel, make sure you tag me on Instagram at at or lessonjack so I can see and comment on your art. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to see more art tutorials. Also, click your notification bell to find out whenever a new tutorial is published and share this video with your artist friends on social media. Happy painting and I hope you join me for my next tutorial. Bye!